welcome to our new session you are watching your favorite math channel we land math i am dr c sudhakar with you dear viewers today we are going to see about pigeon hole principle a very important concept in the counting principle what is this pigeon hole principle first let me explain what is a pigeon hole principle then we will see the actual statement of it suppose uh, in a classroom if there are three chairs available and four students are coming to the class first students can come and sit with this table and second student can come and sit in this table and third student can come and sit in this table if the fourth student is coming he has to share his table with anyone else maybe he can sit here or here or here any one of the place so this is a obvious concept so if the number of students is more than the number of tables then it is sure that two students are sitting in the same table at least one table will have two students this principle is generalized as pigeon hole principle now assume this as a pigeon hole it's a place where the pigeons will live and pigeons is a bird you know that if the pigeons are more than the pigeon holes then at least one of the pigeon hole will have n minus 1 by m plus 1 pigeon here we are using a new symbol please note down the symbol the symbol is like this one line with a floor line it's a floor line so we call this as a floor function so before going to see how the rule is working let us see what is the definition of this function the definition of this function is if any number is coming like 7.5 it will convert the value into the floor value so assuming that this is a floor 0 minus 1 minus 2 1 2 3 if you are taking a value 1.5 one 1.5 will be somewhere here the floor function will push down to this number the value is equal to 1 suppose if it is a negative number for example if you are taking minus 1.5 minus 1 minus 1.5 will be somewhere here so the value of the function is push this value down to the floor minus 1.5 will be minus 2 sometimes if you are having the same integer for example minus 1 so there is no change in the value it is going to be minus 1 if it can be a value something like 9 no change so this is how the floor function works that floor function we are going to use it in the pigeon hole principle now let us see what is a pigeon hole principle if there are m pigeon holes m pigeon holes for example here we are having three pigeon holes and if you are having n pigeons that is our students so how many students are coming inside 1 2 3 and fourth student has to share in any one of the table he can again come to the same table okay so pigeons are like students and uh, holes are like tables if the n is greater than m then the pigeon hole principle applies in brief we will write php the php will applies what the php says is at least one of the table will have n minus 1 by m plus 1 pigeons now let us see how the question can be asked in an examination if you pick any six integers any six integers 
from the numbers 1 to 10 then at least two of them will add up to eleven. Let us see that how it's working. Now in this case, very important thing is we have to choose what is the pigeon holes and what is the pigeons. Usually pigeon holes will be the concept where the pigeons are embedded. Now we are picking the number 6 integers. So when you take some numbers that's going to be the pigeon. So n is equal to 6. Now what is a pigeon holes? The idea is to get a sum of 11. So now let us think about from 1 to 10 how we can get 11. So if you add the number 1 with 10 you get 11. Then if you get the number 2 and 9, if you add the numbers 2 and 9 the total will be 11. Similarly 3, 8 will be added to 11. Then 4, 7 will be added to 11. Then 5, 6 will be added to 11. We use the numbers 1 to 10, all of them exactly once. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we use all the possible numbers. Now let us see that how many chances are there. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 chances are there. M is equal to 5. So this is called PGN holes. Now count the pigeon holes and put it as M. What we have to prove is at least two of them will add up to 11. So at least how many of them will add up to 11? We will find it. The least number is equal to now the pigeon hole principle N minus 1 by M plus 1. Now 5 is N is greater than M. That is 6 is greater than 5. We can use the pigeon hole principle. Now the least number is equal to n minus 1 by m plus 1. Now we can apply the principle n is equal to 6 minus 1 divided by this m5 plus 1. So 6 minus 1 is 5 by 5 plus 1. So 5 by 5 is 1. The integer value of 1 is also equal to 1. So 2 of them will be added to 11. At least 2 of them will be added to 11. This is proved. This is one of the idea where we can use the pigeonhole principle. Hope you enjoyed learning maths with me. Please subscribe to this channel for more updates. I put a quiz in the description. Please take the quiz to test your understanding. With all the best. I am signing off. Dr. C. Sudhakar.